DeepSeek is a security mess, ransomware is down, and a new mobile vulnerability? I'm Allie Diamond, and this is ThreatWire. Last week, we covered a story about the open database endpoints that the DeepSeek team had neglected to protect. This week, more vulnerabilities, security concerns, and issues have come up about the DeepSeek product that you probably need to know about. It's truly rare to see an app top the charts as quickly and as widespread as DeepSeek has done in less than a month. And as security practitioners, we all know that probably means the vulnerability opportunities are probably endless. But I think we're all just truly unprepared for just how insane this is. Found by the Now Secure team, the iOS application sends data through unencrypted network requests. Yes, literally they're making calls via HTTP and not HTTPS, making it vulnerable to man in the middle attacks. They found that the iOS app also uses three DES encryption algorithms that were found to be vulnerable and deprecated as a standard for encryption by the NISD in 2016. Symmetric keys were hard coded into the app and stored on device. And there were more issues found in the security of the iOS app, which are considered baseline best practices for implementation of code. Beyond poor security implementation by the DeepSeek team, cyber criminals have been trying to dupe developers interested in the DeepSeek models. Discovered by the team at Positive Technologies Expert Security Center, a bad actor by the GitHub handle BVK deployed two packages to PyPy, one with typo squatting the name DeepSeek with three E's, and another called DeepSeek AI. Once installed, they would deploy malware to collect system information and environment variables. They found that there were only around 200 installation of these malicious packages. What's the most fun about this supply chain security attack is how the attacker made the malware. It's worth mentioning that the script was written with the help of an AI assistant, which is indicated by the characteristic comments explaining the lines of code. PyPy has been notified of the bad packages and they have been removed. The world of AI is still very rogue in terms of cybersecurity and moving too fast. Unlike the crypto boom that happened years ago, at least we can hope AI might be able to help itself. Chainalysis has come out with a new study showing that ransomware payments are down. In 2024, ransomware attackers received approximately $813.55 million in payments from victims, a 35% decrease from 2023's record-setting year of $1.25 billion, and for the first time since 2022, ransomware revenues declined. According to the report, the ransomware environment is believed to have gone through a significant transformation following the crackdown on LockBit and the exit of Black Cat slash LV. While LockBit and AlphV are essentially non-operational in 2024, Ransom Hub stepped up, posting the highest number of victims attacked in 2024. While ransomware has gone down, data leaks are up, with 56 new data leak sites being identified in 2024. I'm curious to hear what you think of these numbers. Do you think ransomware will make a comeback this year, or will data leaks continue to grow? Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear. The team at Kaspersky has discovered a new malicious SDK that has been infecting apps on both the iOS and Android application stores. The first instance was discovered in a food delivery app popular in the UAE and Indonesia called KumKum. A malicious SDK called Spark would call out to retrieve a JSON config file from GitLab in the onCreate entry point of the application source code. This JSON would contain information for the location of the C2 servers. Through static analysis of the libraries, they were able to figure out that a payload being decrypted by the malicious SDK is actually the wrapper for an interface for Google's MLKit library. The malware has the ability to process keywords to select images to upload to the C2 server, filter images using local libraries, and filter words in images by length. Any image that matches the criteria of the processors are sent to the C2 server. They found that the same version of this app on the Google Store was also infected in a similar way on the Apple App Store. We asked ourselves what kind of images the attackers were looking for. To find out, we requested from the C2 servers a list of keywords for OCR-based search. 
In each case, we received words in Chinese, Japanese, Korean, English, Czech, French, Italian, Polish, and Portuguese. The terms all indicated that the attackers were financially motivated, specifically targeting recovery phrases known as mnemonics that can be used to regain access to cryptocurrency wallets. The team found that several other apps on both the iOS and Android app stores were infected with the malicious package, including several AI apps. They estimated that these applications had a total of around 242,000 downloads across the app stores. Calls to the C2 server, as well as calls received from the server, were in Chinese. However, they were unable to attribute the campaign to any certain group. And no, we don't have any confirmation if people who use the malware-infested food delivery app actually received the food that they ordered. Thank you so much for watching ThreatWire for the week of February 10th. 2025. If you want to support this ad-free show, you can head over to patreon.com slash threatwire. We were also thinking about cutting each of these segments into their own individual segments and posting them as shorts onto different platforms. How would y'all feel about seeing those around on the internet? Let me know in the comments. It's pretty easy to do and would definitely help with growing the community here on Hack5. If you want to find me online, you can find me everywhere at Ending With Ally. Speaking of shorts, I've also been pretty active on posting shorts over on my own Instagram channel. So if you want to go check out non-security related shorts, tech related focus mostly, uh, please go check it out. And as always, good luck, have fun, and don't get caught.